Band on the Wall, uh, Worldwide FM have come up uh, from that London and because they have quite a lot of Manchester based presenters who are doing like a seven hour uh, live broadcast, uh, I had the honour of doing the lunchtime slot 12 till 2 uh, along with MC Quasi. Worldwide FM is an amazing uh, established radio station I've been listening for years. Uh, I think it is set up by various partners. It has strong links with Brownswood, obviously Giles Peterson's massively behind it. But yeah, Worldwide FM represents the international community of music. I've heard some incredible music that I'm not sure would ever have really reached this island in particular um, were it not for establishments like Worldwide FM, so yeah. What's next for Manchester scene? I think Personally, I think we're quite high up just after London there. We're, we're, we're probably one of the strongest music scene within the UK. I just think we keep on growing. We've got amazing venues. We're all trying to just elevate artists from local background as well. There is, there is very different different diversity in regards of what the venues are trying to push. So you've got, act, you've got venues who are great on the local scene. You've got venues who, where a lot of international artists come through like ours. Um, I just think it's going to get bigger and better. to say how Manchester has shaped me as an artist because it shaped me as a person first and I was born here and my, my, all of my family have been born and raised in Manchester so Manchester is very much who we are before it's shaped the music and my family shaped the music so it's Twisted Wheel, it's it's Pips in Manchester, it's Legends, it's, it's um, The Gallery, for me it's DeVille's, Berlin, Pips, The Ritz. It's all of the live music and clubs in Manchester are everything to do with who I am in terms of a DJ. Uh, another amazing moment for me at Band on the Wall was seeing Gonja Sufi live. That was really, really special. And I wasn't expecting to see him in a space like that, but the acoustics as well in Band on the Wall are off the chain. And anyone who's played on that stage will tell you that it's the best on stage sound, which is something that a lot of people understand about live music, is that very often the band playing have the worst sound in the room, but not here. To be honest, favorite time at Band on the Wall is probably um, you know, since the reopening um, and seeing seeing people in the venue again um, is is amazing. Um, yeah, it's been a long time. Oh, oh, oh. 